as you've heard, welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Today, we are heading out into the ocean with our pirate crew as we start the next chapter. As you can see here, it looks like we got a little pirate to talk to. Right, fair weather today, eh? Yeah, a perfect day to set sail if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit of a, of if, if the whole journey blew in fair as today. No sirree, Bob. All right, well, I guess we just get to chat with everybody. Hi. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave port. Starboard ho, port ho, giant monsters blooper, or giant monster blooper ho, oh, I'm practicing my O's. Alas, my dreams will come true. I'm going to open my very own shop on Keel Hall Key. I don't care if it's small and ramshackle, it'll be mine. I just have one slight worry. Keel Hall Key is a deserted, cursed island. You think it'll get much foot traffic? I don't know, what's up with you? You don't look very friendly. Uh, pleased to meet um your acquaintance. <laughs> All right, well, I'll have to keep an eye on you, buddy. But over here, we got another concerned uh, sailor. I might as well tell you, my brother went to Keel Hall Key and never returned. I get woozy just thinking of it, but I've decided to work up my courage and sail there. All right, well, good luck. I'll head up here and talk to you. I, I always dreamed of the day I'd leave this town. I don't care if there are pirates or ghosts or undead vampires where we're going. It's gotta be worlds better than this stinkhole. <laughs> oh my gosh, doesn't like rogue porn, huh? Anyways, I guess we're good to talk to the captain. <laughs> ah, yes, so it is you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She's a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance. None can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can. Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, 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 of course, the problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer the ships, you know. Now here's the real problem. The waters around Keelhall Key are deathly dangerous. We need absurd, an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say? A pickle. Oi, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Don't, do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in, in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. Saudi old sea dog by all accounts. But he said to have the Hel Elmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Basa boom, problem solved. Let us scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. Could that be the bob that we met earlier at Rogueport? As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? I guess so, no complaints, aye aye sir, aye aye aye, sounds fair, I'm on board, good plan, sure thing. Then it is decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. So I guess we're gonna be a little bit busier. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Hey, oh yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave port. Okay, I figured they would have maybe some kind of hint or anything, but all I can think of is the one bob -omb that we met in that one building. I had to use my new roll-up ability to get to them, so I guess we'll go check them out. We'll, we'll see if that's the bob -omb we're supposed to, to meet here, and if it is, that's great. That means that we can just set sail with him, but if not, We'll have to figure that out. The only other bob -omb I can think of is that there was that one in Pedalburg that was so sad, and I really don't know what the deal with that was. So hopefully we'll be able to figure it out. But it was right over here. Because we've already been in there. Oh wait, no wait. 
It was uh, right over here. Since we've already been in here, the door should be unlocked. It is. Hi. You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gent. Take your search elsewhere. Oh no, so it wasn't you. I wonder where Bobbery is. I bet lots of rumors flow through Pobbly's place. How about we try asking him? Yeah, sure. Okay, so if we head back this way, uh, Podley's place was, of course, right under the inn, so I guess we'll go chat with him. This seems very peculiar. I don't, I, I don't know if we're doing something wrong here, but let's just go and chat with him, see what he knows. I'm Earl Bobbery. Yeah, yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. So well, I was right. But I think both you and he would be better off if you just let him be. Why? Uh, we're looking for a house just past the wall in the eastern part of town. That's by the professor. Let's ask him. All right, well, I guess we'll press on. <laughs> we'll see if we can't figure something out. I'm a little confused here. If he doesn't want to sail, how are we going to make him sail? He just does, he doesn't even want to be the claim to be him. I don't know. All right, end back in. And chat with you again. Admiral Bobbery, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. No, if you please. Drop the yak, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. <laughs> what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? Well, we well, said sail. You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea, nevermore. But that's just not cool. You wanna see me beg or something, is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Keelhaw Key. Awfully sorry, dear fellows, but when I say no, what I mean is no. Oh no, what do we do? I wonder why Bobbery doesn't wanna sail anymore. There must be a story, so we should ask the professor or somebody. Uh, oh, what's the next move, Chief? The salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? Know what we ought to do? Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. So maybe the professor would know. We'll go chat with him. He's right next door anyways. Maybe they're, you know, maybe they've had some neighborly chats. We can get the down low. Uh, and I feel like I want to get Vivian now, because I want to hear some of her comments on the story since she's our newest partner. Admiral Bobbery won't go to sea. That's a setback. Hmm. I don't know the man myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Podley knows a thing or two. All right, so we're going all the way back to Podley. It was right over here. So lots of back and forth between the townsfolk of Rogueport so far. I haven't even began our, our sea life adventure here. So right over here, back to Podley. He's gotta know a thing or two. He seems to know a little bit about everybody. You say Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? I mean, it's our only option. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want the mount to mount an expedition to Keelhaw Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors will meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. Then I guess he's our guy. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do, I can take it. <laughs> We're tough, right? I won't cry. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobby's, Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself, 
my loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. That is really sad. I can't imagine what that poor man went through. No wonder he, no wonder he won't sail. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? Yes, we have no choice. I mean, obviously we can't make him, and I don't want to force him to go through any more trauma than he has, but if we can convince him, we could save the world. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Oh? Oh, it's a letter. You got an old letter. The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery just before she departed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love shall blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery Misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thank you so much, Podly. We'll deliver the letter, don't you worry. Ready, Mario? I think we're ready. All right, well, that was a very heartfelt thing to give us, I guess. And I can understand, it seems like a complicated situation. But we gotta set things right. Even if Bobber decides not to go with us, he deserves to see this letter. It might give him closure, and that's really important for someone who's grieving. So, I guess we'll head over there, and we'll see what he responds with it. I don't know. All right, here you are. What? Oh, by Blabberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, Entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you! Hold on, you might wanna see this. Pardon? A letter, you say? F for me? Yes. What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Aww. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. A, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? Or Bobbery. Yes, love, I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe, bound for Keelhaw Key? Oh, yeah. yeah, we were. Oh, rough. If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. <laughs> Admiral Bobbery, wonderful. <laughs> then ships in the, har the ships in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. All right, we have ourselves a navigator. That's fantastic, I can't believe we did it. All right, I think we can finally head to Keelhaw Key. Let's get to Rogueport Harbor and set sail. Wow, I can't believe it. We're able to team up with Bobbery here. So strong of him to be able to push past that grief and go back to what he loves. One of his main loves in this world to, to be out and see. All right, let's go back over there then. And, uh, oh, we got a call from Petunia or an email. Yoo-hoo, what's up? Hi, Mario, how are you? I'm a... Uh... Good, no, very good, no, great. Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. 
I do wish you'd come back to play sometimes. Are, are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place no, nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun, I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have the time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to, promise, from Patuni. And it looks like she has another egg. I mean, we just used, we just got the one from her earlier, so I guess we can get a, another one. Good to know. So I guess we can keep playing little games with her. But for right now, let's see what we can do down this way. Lots of people, of course, but we are just trying to set sail. So hopefully Bobbery and the rest of the crew are ready to go. It looks like he's up there. So let's see, we'll chat with you. Ah, the smell of the sea. I'd forgotten how sweet a scent it can be. All right, I think we're ready. I knew you would get Bobbery on board. You wonderful mustached man, you. To you, I must say ahoy. I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded your, our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say, shall we set sail? Yeah, let's shove off. We're heading to Keel Hockey. Very well, to the sea. Raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion. And a romance and money. Our destination is dread, Keel Hockey. Wait up. All right, here we go. The sails are setting. The tide of adventure awaits for us as we head to Keel Hall Key. I wonder what treachery we might run into in this next chapter. Uh, whoa, this is X not one here. Come in, dude. I repeat, X not, X not one here, over. Roger, reading you five by. Infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. Oh no, there's a spy. A lot going on here in chapter five, the key to pirates. Whoa, I can't wait to see how it goes. All right, well, we're cruising in the ocean. Month star, day XO. Over the protest of my crew, the SS Flavion has set to sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must scoff. Flavia will show them guts. Oh, and it's nighttime. Quite a lot of traveling. And there's nothing out here but water. So this is another day? Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if they are a blessing of our voyage. Flavio thanks him most heartily. Month star, day X music. I have an interesting date system here. Things are going smoothly, perhaps even too smoothly for my comfort. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Oh wow, yeah, this is going really nicely. Smooth sailing, as they say. Skull Captain casts his gaze, red jewel shines and blaze, boom, basa, boom, festival. The Sash Brothers, best of friends, three times red sash lands on his end. I don't know if I'm reading this correctly. Blue Sash's belly, four times is whacked, so let's hear, I'm not good at singing on the fly, so let's hear those fireworks go boom. At the Boom Bossa Boom Festival. There you go. I had to sort of hear the rhythm for a second. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to hear, no. This island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh, I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many, many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. I had the beast licked, for I am Flavio. He was giant, massive, a huge drink of man-eater. But even now, you know, I could take him, yes. Er, where was I? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, but even then I smiled. Okay, he's gonna loop here. Great, he started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. 
There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it too. Ugh, why is the, what? Wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio, awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. Ah, uh, stopped you say to me after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm, so take care of it. Something's wrong. Hmm, I see no issue with the ship itself, and I assure you I am not so rusty a sailor that I would miss it. I'll investigate right quick. Wait a tick. Whoa. What do you see? What, what is that? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scallywags. Oh, was that like a spirit? A blue flame? The clouds go dim. What is happening? Oh, uh, oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working here. I said quit shoving. What is this thing? Oh, uh, uh, ah! run away, run away. The ship is haunted. The, the, the they're here! What is the ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Oh no! Ghosts! Spirits, ghouls, I don't know. Ooh. No! They're upon us! The p -p 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 pirate ghosts! All them rumors were true! Ooh, uh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here! Ah! Don't panic yourselves. This is just a dream that we are all having. Awake! Now, quickly, move the boat. Everyone is terrified. Ooh! There's so many of them. Uh oh. Oh, ghostly wing thing. Are you really the savage pirate king? I help me! Oh my goodness. Buck up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax, 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 I say. You simply must take it easy. Er, what? Whoa! Whoa! No, Bobbery! Bobbery, no! Excuse me. Listen, everyone. If we could form an orderly line without shoving right after. Oh my goodness. Eee! Everyone's getting knocked off the ship. We're gonna drown. Whoa! Aye, we must get out of here. Abandoned ship. Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself. Oh my goodness. The whole ship is sinking. Are there any islands nearby? What are we going to do? Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island, Keel Hall Key, was our intended destination all along, no? And yet, we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, huh? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's floatsome washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea, but then what, I ask? I don't know. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, poor sweet SS Flavion. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have had no sign of Barbary and the others, and my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Three days on the isle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. So we've been stuck on the island for days now. At the least, Keelhaw Key. Oi, Captain Stash! 
It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. Huh. This is rough. So we're just lost out at sea on Keelhaw Key. Sounds like a hut is ready for us. Let's go check it out. And we'll switch over to Goombella so that we can maybe observe some of these areas. This is Keelhaw Key. The sun's brutal as you'd expect on a southern isle. But blue skies, white clouds, I've always wanted to take an island vacation. Don't you just wanna yell, hey, stupid ocean, look at me, I'm on vacation. Uh, not necessarily, but I mean, here we are. This is crazy. So we're to suck out at sea, Admiral Bobbery, as well as a few of the other guys are missing. But hey, we can get a star piece. Cool, we got a star piece. I'll take that. Um, Is there anything else around here we should investigate before we maybe head back? Huh. I'm sure there's something. So I'm trying my best just to look around a little bit. Uh, doesn't seem, oh, hey, ah, sorry. You scared me. Wahoo, who directed? Oh, uh, wait, what? You got a whack a bump. A lump of something replenishes 25 HP and 25 FP. Huh? Come back, what was that thing? I just got scared and then just swung. All right, well. Nice seeing you, I guess. Hopefully you'll pop back up at some point. Nothing back here. All right. Uh, wait, what was that? Was that just her? I don't know. Uh, yeah, this place is peculiar. We'll head this way though. So it doesn't seem like the island has much in terms of food or anything if they've had to rely on like what's washed ashore from the ship. Oh, hey. Captain, please help us. Flavio and Papatch are in a huge fight. Uh, okay, what's up? Oh no. <laughs> and what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You, you were the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait one moment. Did, did you just call the great Flavio fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants. Fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why, you little cyclops. Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Oi, that's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. Oh my. So they're fighting. They're here! Who's here? What? C-c-c-captain Stash, them ghosts are back. The ghosts? Not again. Haven't you made our lives difficult enough? Mario, front and center. This is an order. Take care of those ghosts. Me? Oh no. What is going on with these spooky spirits? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, at least we'll have our HP briefly recovering. And that's pretty nice. I'm not at full health at the moment, so let's switch over to Goombella real quick and get a quick tattle on whatever in the world these embers are. Here we go. And boom. That's an ember. Sort of a pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Max HP is eight, attack is three, and defense is zero. Of course, since this thing is a flame, touching it will hurt. Didn't mama teach you that? Here's another thing you should know. Something horrible is likely to happen if you attack it with fire. Looks like it's susceptible to ice or explosive attacks though. So that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire. So try to guard well. Okay, Um, I will do my best to be careful here. First things first is we'll just hit this first one. Oh, you know, we should get the ice hammer equipped. Let's try piercing blow on this first guy. Ready? Ooh. I'm able to do a little flip. That did half of its health, so that's pretty nice. Uh oh. Ooh, three damage to us there with that flame. And I'm doing it way too early. It sort of floats up to us. Whoa, this is different. Ah, couldn't quite make it happen. Are we gonna be burnt? I will heal up a little bit, so that's at least good. I think we'll switch Goombella back to the, the, the back. We'll do another piercing blow here, or we could do the super hammer. Super hammer might do also four damage, let's see. Uh, I think it did. Did we knock you out? Yes, we did. Pretty cool. So we got the bingo time here. 
Ah, uh, couldn't quite get it. I mean, it would just refill our star power, which we have full anyways. I don't think we want to jump on these guys because they're made of fire. If we were to switch Swap Partner to, I mean, Vivian has the Fire Punch. I don't think that's a very good move considering what Goombella said for this situation. I guess we could try Koops. I think Koops would be a good idea. So I'll have Koops attack with a Power Shell just like this. Boom, and that does three damage to each of them, so that's a pretty good start. What are they gonna do now? We're gonna earn some extra star power here. Ouch. And we haven't tried our brand new star move, have we? I don't think we have, so we should definitely try to do that soon. All right, heal up a little bit more, and then I wanna switch back over to Koops and finish you off with another power shout, right? Oh, it might not quite work, but we'll see. I missed, no way. Well, that stinks. Okay, super hammer on you. It'll knock you out. It'll do some damage to your buddy. Okay, so we just have one more to deal with. I hope we can do it. Oh no. Uh, oh, I blocked it this time. They really rev up their attack. So let's uh, switch back to Mario and just do a normal hammer on you. It should do the trick. Never mind. Really? Okay. Shell toss on ya. There we go, that got ya. And there we have it. It took some, some doing for sure, but we get the, the, the embers defeated. We get nine points. Awesome. Yes, you're a bloomin' beast, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate, no. There are surely more of them elsewhere, huh? Somewhere must, someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that's, that is what must be. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, on this, I brook no argument. Ah, yes, of course, Mario, perhaps you could handle the, the exploration of this island. Uh, sure, I'm eager to, you know, stretch our legs here after chilling out here for so long. Can do. That is my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. We can count on you. All right, well, I guess we have a goal here, but I do want to take a look around this area first. So this is sort of our base camp. This is a shanty town built by Papatch and some of the sailors who came with us. Blue ocean, sandy beaches, a shop, an inn. You can live pretty comfortably here. You'd always have to worry about harmful UV rays though, you know? Yeah, no sunscreen, huh? All right, hi. The eastern end of the island seems awful mysterious. Good luck, Captain Stash. Will we get any new descriptions for these guys? That's Papatch the Babam. He's a salty old sailor and a totally solid deckhand. I heard he built all these shanties by himself too. Still, he's afraid of ghosts. I mean, I would be too, given the context. Ah, oh, what's going to happen to all of us? That's a toad sailor. He was with us on the ship, you remember? He seems like a hard worker. Doesn't he look reliable? Yeah, guess so. Anything over here? Not quite, but we do have some other people to talk to. Hey, did you find anything? You gotta find a way for us to get back home. That's a bob -omb sailor. He's one of the guys who came here with us. You think bob -omb sailors have any trouble with their fuses getting wet? I don't know. So what have you found? Hmm, anything exciting? We all cheer you, Captain. That's the entrepreneur Flavio. He calls himself the leader of this group. He's a funny enough guy, but he mostly loafs around and makes folks do his work. Not much of a leader, huh? But what a dresser. <laughs> All right, well, up here we have this shop. Whoa, how you doing? <laughs> Ahoy there and welcome. Honored to have you enter the Keel Hall Galleria. What can I do for you? So, um, I guess I could maybe just buy some things. Come back anytime, Captain. That's Thrifty the Toad. He came to Keel Hall Key to open his own store. But I don't think this is quite what he had in mind. Know what I mean? Then again, maybe this is even better in some ways. Well, I think one thing we should definitely scoop up here is right over here, another ice storm. <laughs> That's gonna be 15 coins for this ice storm. Would you like to buy it? Yes, I'll just have one of those. Oh, you weren't a prize with your shop points, Captain, but your pockets are bursting. I'll just hang on to it then. Come on back and get it after you use sell or store it item. All right, let's go ahead and store something real quick then. Uh, you're in the price of your shop points, Captain, but your pockets are bursting. Yes, I'm aware. Um, so, let's store. What do I have that I might, might want to be, be able to put away? Probably this mystic egg. I'm assuming I need to cook that in some way or form, so putting a couple of that stuff away seems good. You need for anything else? I'm good, so what if I chat with you now? Come back anytime. 
Uh, hey, you earned 30 shot points. Kudos, Captain, here's your prize. A fine super mushroom. Nice, that'll be super useful. You mean for anything else? I don't think so. So is there anything behind here? No. Okay, just wanna make extra sure before we skedaddle out of here and keep looking. I guess for right now we'll save. Seems like a plan. So let's see what else is going on around here then. Is there any way I can just like walk out to sea or anything? Oh, hey, Shine Sprite. Not Shine Sprite, Star Piece. You know what I mean. There we go. Uh, we have a little flag over here just made out of laundry. Doesn't really do anything. And we have you, which we've talked to you plenty of times. Uh, that's the Battle Master. He's a master of battling. Let me know if I'm going too fast here. He'll teach you the secrets of battling. Okay, we know about this. Um, what about inside of here? Oh, it's like an inn, which honestly I could use right now. Hi. Hi, this may not look like much, but we're very proud of our seaside shanty. And I'd say it's 10 coins. Let me do this real quick, because we have taken some damage. Sleep tight. All right, so just gonna enjoy a quick rest. Did you sleep well, Captain? Enjoy your day. That's a toad girl. She runs an inn of sorts in this tent. It may look totally budget, but this is a real business. All right, so before we get too carried away, if we're gonna be running into more of those fire ghosts that are weak to ice, I think it would definitely be good to look at what we currently have equipped and maybe look at this ice smash. It's only one point, so maybe instead of having, say, the quake hammer, we could unequip that one, get the ice smash, and maybe even get another stomping move, because I feel like I, I need one extra stomping move. That might be pretty cool, right? So if I look at all these, if I sort them by types, yeah, that makes it way easier. We do have power jump. Um, which, stomp on a foe for increased damage. We're getting two or more of these batches increases attack power. We also have soft stomp. Okay, I think. Drop their attack power. I think this might be fun. I think we'll do this shrink stop. Power jump is also good, but I think lowering somebody's attack, that might be like a tactical approach that could be really useful in the long run. So there is that. Let's get back to it then and head over this way because it seems like that's what we're supposed to do at the moment as far as I can tell. Um, I guess we'll find out though. Oh my, we got some new fuzzies here. This is a totally thick jungle. The floor in this area is unique to tropical regions. Let's explore the island. I wanna see how deep this jungle can go. <laughs> me too, I'm very curious. So we'll definitely wanna search around here and immediately we get a star piece. Let's grab that before you give me a problem, mister. It's a green fuzzy, which I feel like we've fought one before, a green fuzzy. I guess we'll see in just a moment. Here we go. I guess not. We've, we've had like a variety of colors here, but not green. Oh no, we have. Okay, perfect. So now we know. Um, let me try my brand new shrink stomp and just sort of see how it goes. Not bad, and then that lowers their damage, so they don't have to, uh, we don't have to be too worried about that. Whoa, whoa. Oh, there we go. So they're both down to one HP. We'll be able to knock them out on this next turn. That'll be pretty useful. Ooh. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's right, they make little duplicates. We gotta be careful of that. Ow. <laughs> Not good. Okay, Mario, you're gonna heal up a little bit with your little benefit. That's always good. Let's go ahead and I will do super hammer on this one. That was pretty nice. Now Goombella should be able to get rid of the next fuzzy. And these guys give decent points. Bingo time, here we go. Ah, oh, couldn't quite. Let's go ahead and head bunk. Nice. So star points there, we get another nine. I definitely wanna take on as many battles as I can so I can upgrade my BP soon. I really wanna level up for that, but there's a ton of coins for us, fantastic. And we will keep exploring this area. So, so far, hey, we got a Keel Mango. Fruit found in Keel Hall Key, replenishes five HP. Nice, happy to see that. Um, Not seeing too much else around here, but I'm just gonna hit everything with my hammer until we find something. We get ourselves a brand new badge, the Head Rattle Badge. May temporarily confuse an enemy, hindering their actions. I think we've run into one of those before. What we haven't run into is this light pink fuzzy, I don't think. Guess we're gonna find out. Here we go. Very cool, four damage on ya. Whoa, look at the giant bob bombs in the crowd. I don't know if I've seen them there before. All right, we're dodgy. No, we have fought you guys before. Interesting. So we might as well switch over to Goombella, and I think I just wanna head bonk this one. Cool. So there's you knocked out, switch back over to Mario and hit you with the hammer as, oh wait, that's not the hammer, whoops. <laughs> that's okay. They're down to two health. We'll be able to knock them out here in just a moment. Ooh. Oh, I dodged it. 
There we go. Very nice. I definitely want to do a little bit of battling here soon enough with um Vivian because Vivian got upgraded and we haven't really fought with her too much since then. It's just fiery jinx now. Attack all foes with flames that set them on fire. That might be good once we're fighting a lot of foes. But for right now... Got it! Nice! Good punch! Four damage from that is fantastic. We get, of course, some extra experience, getting us up to 57 in total. So that was pretty good. We get some extra coins out of that. I'm gonna hit this question block and get one of these curd shells. And I can't carry it. So what can I maybe switch out here? I'm gonna kill Mango. We don't really need too much. We could always get another one, I'm sure. But out of all these, I think the Dizzy Dial might be one worth throwing out. Uh, I always try to store away more items, but I need to keep some out too, you know? Let's just throw away the Dizzy Dial for now. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, do I have anything that's gonna restore FP right away? I mean, this would, but mm, I don't know. Uh, I wanna save them for when I really need them. I guess we'll just toss the Dizzy Dial, toss. And keep moving. I don't see any other enemies around, but I'll try my best to use more items soon. Can I go in this water? No, I can't, I'm just gonna get spiked, whoops. <laughs> All right, lesson learned. And whoa, we got more fuzzies, gotcha! We struck first. Oh, and it's a pink one too. Nice. See, so yeah, I guess we'll just try to keep up with using items a little bit more often, because if not, we're always maxing out. Um, items. What would I want to use against guys like this? Like, I feel like I need to save it for when I actually need it, though. You know, these are pretty easy enemies overall. Uh, so, I don't know if I'll worry about it too much. I think for now, though. I mean, I want to try this Ice Smash. It requires a lot of FP, though. I think we'll just focus on you. I mean, I know the other guy is gonna duplicate here in a moment. So maybe we can just get Vivian here to do the Shade Fist. Gotcha! Nice, so that's three points. Here comes the next one, right? What are you gonna do? You're gonna use your item. Oh my. Direct attacks will be counter. So we need to do an indirect attack? What would that be? I don't know. Um. I guess like the earthquake thing would probably be one good example. What can we do that would not be direct? We swap partner. Uh, like maybe Koops' shell? Attack, shell toss. We'll try it. Oh, okay, it did counter. Still her Koops, but it still did damage that guy as well. I see. Good to know. I thought when I said counter, it meant it wouldn't register any damage at all, so. Good to know that's not the case. Just looking around a little bit before we head to this next area. Doesn't seem like there's much, so we'll switch back over to Goombella and head over. Okay, so in here, we're in the jungle on Keel Hall Key. It's complex. Switch back paths, switch back paths and stuff. Let's keep our eyes open as we explore this place. You never know what might pop out. That's for sure. So I'm trying to very thoroughly explore everything. What is this? I guess just like a root to a tree. Nothing up here. I do see that brick block up there. Maybe we can hit that with Koops once we get up there. Whoa, hey, we got a mini Mr. Mini. These are fun. Okay, once again, can't cure anything. Let me go ahead and eat this Keel Mango. Or maybe the Honey Mushroom. Let's see the Honey Mushroom. Use on who's hurting the most. I guess Mario, technically, so we'll do that. And then we got this new enemy. Oh, whoa, a new Piranha Plant. Let's go for ya. Ooh. Nice, four damage to ya. We'll switch over to Goombella, do a quick tattle, and then we'll use an item. So switch, attack, tattle on the putrid piranha. Whoa, crazy name. Ooh, gotcha. That's a putrid piranha. It's a poisonous piranha plant. That color is totally sickly. Max HP is eight, attack is three, and defense is zero. It bites and it attacks with super rank poison breath. Breath mint, table four. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly go down. So, you know, try not to. Yeah, all right. So, switching to items, let's use, I'm gonna use the ice storm here, I think. Well, no, I need to use that for the fire, guys, you know? So I got it. Okay, we could try shooting star. Sure, let's try shooting star. It would get rid of a good bunch of these guys, I think. And it's a very cool item. Wow. 
There we go. Gets rid of all but one, so if we can. Uh, oh, no, nah, I wasn't quite ready, so we are poisoned. Not good. Will this last after the fight, though? We get one damage taken there. I'm gonna switch back to Mario, and then just hit you with the hammer. Here we go. All right, cool. And with that, oh, we're gonna get our double experience here, I think? That'd be fantastic. Double your star points, excellent. So instead of getting, I think it was like nine points there, we get 18. Awesome, we're up to 81 now. Really getting to that next level up real soon. But in the meantime, is there a block up here? Yeah, I thought so. You could see it in the background, like the stone was sort of a square symbol. That was cool. So we'll do that. That didn't really get me much more than a coin. But uh, I guess I'll, whoa, oh, uh, uh, you get over here. No, come on. Gotcha, you struck first. Okay, what do we wanna do with this group? Come on. All right, uh, let's see. Hmm. I'll go to my items. We have a lot of stuff here. Maybe I'll use this Courage Shell. I'll probably wanna switch to Goombella then. Use the Courage Shell on Mario and then have Mario go right back up in front. Might be a good idea, especially with all these opponents and they're all poisonous, but it seems like the poison does end after, um, oh, I can't switch again, interesting. All right, good to know. It seems like the poison does end after the battle is finished. So that's good to know. So that's one enemy knocked out and the other two are slightly damaged. Pretty good. And I need to use this new star power, so now might be a good time. Ah, I tried to block it in time. Definitely trying to get used to that one. So it does, oh, that was just a normal chomp. Okay, you know what? Let's try it. What is, let's see our new special power here, the art attack. Damages all enemies you encircle with the star. Draw around the enemies as many times as you can. Whoa. What is going on with this? This seems weird. With the analog stick? Okay. Whoa, there's one. Whoa, there's another. Come on. There's another, and that's all the enemies knocked out, but we can keep going just for fun. Will that work? Okay, it can be a pretty concise circle. It's sort of difficult to control the analog stick like that, but there we go. Very interesting move. Good to know, though. So I'll have to work on that for sure. I'll have to practice that up a little bit. But boom, we get a bunch of coins, and we get a super mushroom. Whoa. Okay, keep looking around then, and we find a star piece just behind this root. We are finding a ton of things at the moment. I wanna keep that going, right up this way. So what's going on up this way? I'm guessing we're going to need Yoshi to get across this, little Z. All right, buddy, let's head over that. Just like this, made that first one. Ooh, made the second one. And then there was some extra stuff you can see, yeah, right over here. So if I were to just jump up, what does this button do? Oh, makes a spring. So we don't have to go all the way back up there. That's pretty convenient. And then Yoshi, if you wanna, oh, come on, little Z. Ah, oh, not quite, the depth perception isn't quite there. So I just need to find like the lineup for this. Is this it? That's a little too far behind. Okay, hmm. So maybe from about here? Ah, oh, no, that was too far ahead. Really difficult when you're made out of paper. Uh, Try this again. There it is, great job. And because of that, we get a shine sprite. Very cool. And then instead of having to go all the way back over, yep, we just do that. Cool. So if there was not anything else, I guess we can continue up this way where, oh my, we got another enemy to take on, but that's well worth it if we can get some experience points from it. So charge us up and get some stylish points there. I definitely need to make those back, so happy to do that. And as we're here with little Z, I want to get some health back. Always good to see that. Hmm. I think we will go with Little Z's gulp ability. Inhale an enemy and spit it out at another enemy on the ground. I think we'll start with this one. And then, there we go. Got it, and I'm able to do five to one, five to the other, pretty good combo. Then Mario can go in here and do the super hammer, I guess. Or, yeah, because I want to get rid of you. So let me just focus on that for now. Ooh. Cool. That's gonna be some extra stylish points, which really help out. And we got this guy which, you know, steals three FP, not a big fan of that. But if we are just able to jump on top of you with Mario, I think that'd be fine. 
So we go back to this, normal jump. I think it would do two and two, not three and three. I guess because they might have a little bit of defense, but we do some ground pounding now. All right, ready? Very nice. And with that, a whole bunch of points, not quite enough to get the level up. We need one more, but I'm sure we'll run into a battle soon enough. Very exciting though, for sure. So, get all of this stuff, hit this, and I get myself a Thunder Rage. Always useful to have something like that around. And if there's not anything else around, here we get that coin. It looks like we're about to continue this way. Huh, okay. Anything behind this tree? This tree, it looks suspicious. I'm looking everywhere for collectibles. Whoa, these cursed ghosts blast it all. Who is it? Whoa, it's the whole group of missing friends. Bible lubberies blotches. Is that Mario over there? You're alive, old boy. Right, you came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of, the, of here this instant. Huh, but what about you, Admiral? You've gotta get out of here too. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these ghouls busy while you get out of here. Lee, that's in order. Let me do what I must do. Now away with you. Oh wow, what a hero. Ah! Well, Bobber here thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? Hey, wait a minute. We gotta save Bobber. You guys can run, sure, but I'm saving my buddy. Oh, Bobbery, please forgive our cowardice. We up and left you and everything was happening so quickly, forgive us. Gone, eh? Excuse me, but I better be going also. All right. Uh, and hey, you, out there looking at the screen, yeah, I'm talking to you. M me? It may be pretty obvious to, who, to you who I really am, but no telling Mario or else, uh-oh. I feel threatened, I'm scared. Looking at the screen, has that guy lost it or what? He knows, he knows we know. Spooky. So that was a pretty intense introduction to chapter five here on Keel Hall Key. We have to go and save Admiral Bobbery before it's too late. But yeah, lots of weird stuff going on. What is with this x not pirate spy? Hopefully nothing too bad happens. We'll find out in the next episode of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.